come to the next one if it is space come to next one if it is space come to the next block if it is not space something it will be logical thing if you use the brain that simple thing okay observe if it is space go to next block if it is space go to next block if it is a space go to next block if it is not a space stop there itself stop there itself observe you have to pass these many number of blocks if you are having spaces if i am having 100 spaces means 100 blocks right 100 space blocks will be there right i have to traverse from 0 to 99th index is yes or no yes observe here i am going to use one small thing if you want to check whether your father is inside your home or not there are two ways number one is what i mean three ways were there standing in front of or just beside to your compound wall and just start trying to hear your father's voice getting observe here standing standing at compound wall and hearing what your father voice other one other one observe here other one is what mm. other one is what checking observe here checking your father's footwears near your gate okay checking your father's foot wears at at your gate yes or no yes first one is what stand standing at compound wall getting to hear your father's voice and other one is what checking checking your father's foot wears okay foot okay father's foot wears at mm, at front of gate getting now observe here two things were there to state a uh, to give the result for particular action still you can use n number of ways let it be this two ways okay now observe now observe i'm going to use this small thing okay now without going into home without going inside the home i can take these two things i think i can tell without seeing my father face my father is inside home please friends observe here without without meeting my father i can tell he is inside home observe here standing at compound wall and hearing his voice other one checking his checking father's footwear at at gate getting at our or in front of gate it gives the result as what without meeting my father stating my father is within the home or inside the home getting the observe here the same logic same logic i will not check this index this index block element is space i will not check this index block element is space i will not check okay observe here what i'm going to do here what i'm going to write here observe this part i'm having two options i'm having here two options one is what space other one is what not space same thing here i have what space or not space you think not space character any character can be available i have two options one is what my father can be within my home my father cannot be within the home he will be at somewhere at his working location two options right now i will use single option i will use single option single option and i will state by using this uh, by using single option whether my father is inside the home or not i will use single option observe here this is what without seeing my father face stating my father is inside home other one is what hmm, other one is what stating my father is within the home getting first option second option right 
if any one of these thing is becoming true i have to tell hmm, he is inside home if any one of the thing is becoming true i have to tell he is hmm, if any one of the thing is not becoming false or either all the things are becoming false of course all of these things must be false guys to tell this one as false observe here my father footwears were not there can i hear his voice if i stand at compound one no i cannot hear getting if these two things are, i mean these two things are becoming false then i can state my father is not at home okay i will use any one thing same logic i'm going to write one statement observe if if s dot care at of observe i want to get zero yet index character with whom zero is available at memory with k s or no yes now k is having the value as what zero can i pass here k yes pass no issues just pass what k now what happens this method will return what friends mm, this method will return specified index character here it is what zero space will be given space will be given to us if it is a space if it is a up to here if it is a space okay you read i mean you just go on check for the next block observe here if it is space go on check in the next block okay now how i'm going to write that cunning instruction observe if s dot caret of k is not equals to 32 otherwise space getting otherwise space getting if s dot caret of 0 is not equals to space observe here not equals operator one more cunning thing this itself some cunning thing how can i understand this cunning thing mister observe here simple thing why i want to write that logic means uh, here i don't have space otherwise you can do and you can write that one in other way also it's not a big issue okay but uh, try to write the instruction in this way only okay now observe let me close this one okay now what is this not equals operator behavior simple thing this is the internal logic put this one in your brain if two operands if two operands values are different means it will return true if two operand values are same means it will return false if two operands values are different means it will return what true if both the operands values are same means it will return what hmm, it will return what use this logic don't go for this by using this only i have written i think don't go for that observe here this knowledge is required what is that hmm, not equals operator hmm, will return true if two values are different getting if if two values are same means it will return what false observe here if you do observe this one carefully what we are doing with this not equals operator checking both the things are different or not different means true observe here same meaning giving in n n n number of different words okay observe here same meaning but spelling it when i mean spelling this one in n different ways we can see this one as part of definitions in any programming language each and every technical programmer will be giving his own definitions Getting? but what is the behavior the same behavior like that you can give n number of definitions don't go for all of those things just up so here the technical meaning is just important to us to write our own logic okay now not equals operator always returns true if both the are if both operands are, are two if two values are different if two values are different if two values are same it will return false so if two values are same it will return 
pause simple thing come this come to this part i'm going to observe observe this part i will stand in front of gate i mean i will stand at compound wall i will check my father's footwears are in front of gate if it is so my father is there if it is not there my father not available inside the home okay now observe yes dot carrot off s dot carrot of k not equals to 32 mister why are you using 32 as i said earlier observe here as i said earlier car c equals to capital a this part i have told to you at earlier session itself okay what happens internally c will store what 65 equal and unicode value only jvm stores at the time of printing it will convert the 65 to equivalent unicode character and now this capital a will be printing by our jvm okay when you store any character literal in character variable jvm will store hmm, equivalent unicode values getting and at the time of printing conversion will be done from unicode into value to unicode character okay it will give capital a as the output to me okay now observe here now observe here that's why i have taken here 32 i think otherwise you can take just a space care literal also let me take out this space care literal okay i hope you are having knowledge i can put that 32 directly okay now observe here please friends observe s dot carrot of k it is returning what hmm space space equivalent unicode value is 32 okay unicode value of space is 32 strictly here there will be what 32 this is what char array char array hmm, char array contains blocks which are of type char which are of type char each and every block is char type here you will have 32 but just for simple explanation we are writing these representations observe our computers cannot understand all of these things just in high level language we are writing this thing to make the things simple okay here not even nine i mean a will not be here 97 will be here and n corresponding unicode value i corresponding unicode value l corresponding unicode value okay observe now observe here okay now observe this part it will return what to us 32 32 not equals to 32 i am asking not equals operator hello mr not equals operator both the values are same or different uh, both are different getting both are different both are different or same no both are same here in this case observe here what not equals operator will do it will return false so now observe here false i am not at all even checking whatever the character here available at 0th index i am standing outside at compound wall i am just checking the footpaths i am telling this is not at all a not non space character it is what a space character a space character not going inside that one i am just taking this one don't think different for this thing it is simple trick just use the brain okay I am just taking 32 at right side. Why I am taking 32? I am sure. I am so here. I want to remove the spaces from beginning to from beginning to first character. And I want to remove spaces from ending to last character. I am sure that I want to remove only the spaces. So that's why I have taken here 32. Space equivalent Unicode value. 32 that's why i have taken this 32 if both the values are same observe here if both the values i mean if both the values are same ah uh, observe here if both the values are same means go to the next block if this is what observe here i'm checking if this i'm observe my terminology if you want i'll write that one that one if the particular index block 
value is space go to next block you are telling if particular index block character is space means go for next thing how to check it is space or not that's the trick here how to check first it is space or not okay now how to check this index block is space or not how to tell this information to jvm you are human i can understand this one but how to tell to jvm through operators predefined things only we can tell that's why i'm using one operator i have taken 32 here not equals to 32 means what does it mean ah uh, observe here observe here not equals to 32 means a it means that we are having one character there okay observe here leave it all of those things okay first 0th index block element is what space its value will be as what 32 internally character it will be as what 32 right storing 32 if it is like here uh, a means storing 65 and at the time of printing conversion will happen that's why i have taken here 32 it is what 32 32 now now observe here now observe this part okay now observe this part 32 not equals to 32 uh, no they are equal and also you are checking with not equal if both are same it will return false observe here observe here if that is the situation if that is the situation what i'm going to do uh, and use the sense to me this is the this index block element is space observe here not equals operator just being at compound wall telling that my father is there just being outside checking food waste it is what my father is there inside home oh. if both are not equal uh, it is i am sure that 32 32 it means that at zero index hmm, what is there space is there okay now it is true sorry now it is what hmm, of course here space is there at zero index i am using this one as my convenient one i am using not equals operator if both are different then it means that there will be an element non-space element if both are same uh, both are same means space is there i am using observe here this trick very important okay now if that is the situation don't do anything make this while loop to iterate now true now it will come here now what is the k value still it is zero i want to check this index element or character simple thing at this statement increment k variable value so here it will be after giving 32 it will get increment with one okay before coming to this statement okay and now earlier it was 32 okay now 32 is not equals to 32 hmm 32 32 both are same observe here if two values are same it returns false now it is returning false it will come out of the if statement once again it is what while loop it is true once again what happens k value current dead memory what one is dot caret of one here it will be as what one at first index what is the character space okay now take space it will be as what 32 32 not equals to 32 no it is false before it comes out of this argument of if statement it will increment k variable value to 2 it will increment k variable value to 2 now it is false it will come out to the else i mean if block now once again true now now observe here k variable value at memory is what two okay now it will substitute two here s dot caret of k s dot caret of k is what here at memory to write two i have substituted two now it will give once again space i'm checking without um, accessing i mean without going and doing the actions if it is 32 32 not equals to 32 i am using this not equals operator if both are same uh, don't execute any these uh, if block statement come out of that one now before coming out what is the k variable value it will increment to three now it will it is what now control jvm will come here it will go to 
true now once again here the k variable value at memory is what 3 that will be substituting here as a value now s dot caret of 3 how much observe ah a 97 right small a observe 97 not equals to 32 i am asking jvm jvm if both are different it is true ah yes observe here my father footways are not there in front of gate i cannot hear my father voice at comp i mean at stand i mean standing nearby compound wall i'm sure that my father is not available getting so now i'm sure space is not available if both are different getting without uh, without using double equals operator how we are writing up so this is the important thing here okay both are different hmm it will return true if both are false i mean if both are same it will return i mean it will return false if both are same false if both are true i mean both are different true okay now if this is the case just to write break statement here that's it finished break statement now before leaving this statement k variable value will be incrementing to four friends four okay now observe here observe here what i have said to you one small thing i have said to you what is that observe observe this part observe this part now break this iterative statement will be hmm, will be not executing it will come out of the loop but here k variable value is what four i said one thing to you you have to store this first non-space character index first thing right now what is a k variable value at memory four simply put k minus minus that's it finished no need to think much about this k minus minus decrement k variable value with one put minus one that value will be as what three yes i'm sure now i'm having now i'm having now i'm having third index hmm, third index of this string object with me in a safe position wait still we are having one more time okay observe i'm having first non-space character index with me and i'm fine now now i want to do one more thing what is that i have to come from last index and i have to check if it is space come to next block 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 if it is not space start there itself getting and use this index why this index to this index block elements i want to copy to newly created char array this newly created char array starts with zero here the trick will come here the difficulty will arise okay so first first thing we have achieved what is that checking from start that is from beginning index to hmm, first non-space character if i find any first non-space character that index i will store for my future use now with whom that index is available with k variable value okay with whom friends with k variable that is three okay now iterate i mean check from last index one small thing today it is just a three space if it is like 100 spaces if it is like triple line spaces if it is like double line triple line spaces we cannot know how many number of spaces will be available at runtime one of my friend is going to give thousand i mean he is going to give one lakh spaces at the time how to give this this first non-space that is last non-space character this is what first non-space character this l is what non-space character only right this is not space right non-space character i think i want to get that one simple thing i don't know number of options in advance so what i'm going to do means once again i'm going to use what 
ah iterative statement while loop okay while loop i'm going to use let it be true friends okay let it be true one small thing here i want to access lost index character i want to access lost index character how to access simple thing here it is 10 10 elements here it is four elements how to get number of elements or number of blocks by using length method up to here the trick here by using length method i can get number of elements here it is what 10 number of elements here it is what 4 now now observe here if i put minus 1 that equals to 3 last index character or not yes if i put 10 minus 1 9 9 is the last index character that's it finished so i'm going to use that one now with whom the length variable i mean with whom length value is available with which variable with i variable i have found that uh, length at initial state itself now let me declare one variable int j equals to i minus 1 getting now j variable value will be as what 10 minus 1 9 that's it 10 minus 1 9 okay but still i variable value is 10 i am not disturbing i variable i minus 1 if i put i minus minus then i variable will be as what 9 okay understand friends okay understand this part okay now now observe here now we have to come from last index right the same thing i'm going to use but up to here j variable value is what 9 9 to 8 8 to 7 decrementing that's it then that nothing observe here if if s dot carrot of j is not equals to 32 i don't want to access that one whatever the variable i mean whatever the index element it is no issues it is space ah, come to the next one that's it i want okay now what i have done here once again not equals operator what not not equals operator behavior if both are same it will return false if both are same returns false okay now is dot caret of j j variable value 9 and at ninth index what we are having here hmm, we are having space it will give uh, 32 32 is not equals to 32 uh, just uh, observe this one don't tell not equals all of these oral things first understand this is not equals operator come to this predefined implementation both are what same it will return false now this if block will not get execute okay if block will not get execute think that once again it will come to condition it is what true now a start caret of j variable value is what currently at memory 9 but i want to make that one as what 8 okay i want to decrement here in this direction i'm traversing whereas here from this direction incrementing the index values okay observe now let me let me put here j minus minus so initially its value is what 9 getting before it comes to out of this if uh, statement j variable value will be as what 8 now come here it is to s dot caret of j j variable value 8 at 8th index what i mean which character we are having once again space it will give 32 getting it will give 32 32 not equals to 32 observe don't do anything come to this not equals operate behavior want both the operand values same it will return false come out of the if block once again true observe it is whenever that is coming out of this statement j variable value will be decrementing okay now it is what false it will come here once again true it is what s dot caret of j j variable value 7 at 7th index s dot caret of 7 what we are having space 
what we are having space now once again 32 not equals to 32 wait not equals operator what is the behavior if two values are same false both are same so come out of if block now once again up to here before coming here this variable value will be decrementing now will come out of this if block once again true now yes dot caret of 6 what is there at 6th index at 6th index i am having l l of course l unicode value something let it be like 110 okay even i don't know i am just writing this one approximately okay let it be as what 10 friends okay let that value be as what 110 okay whatever it is it will be less than 122 110 is not equals to 32 wait not equals operator right now come here if two values are different return true if two values are same return false now what is this if two values are different returning true it will return true now it will come into this if statement now just break this i have found what is that last index character getting last index character i am fine i am sure now now come here now come here break right now whenever this statement execution completed it's coming out of this if if condition checking statement j variable value will be decrementing to five but now observe here 5 is our last index hmm. last index here does 5 is our last index no 6 our 6 is our last index but you are having j variable value as what 5 simply increment j plus plus no issues okay no issues no restrictions you can do that one because about this plus plus operator jvm is having knowledge purely about this j variable i have given knowledge to jvm hello jvm it's my variable j variable value is what nine meaning i have declared i have created that's why memory allocation okay now observe here now we are we are fine with what first index I mean first character I mean first non space character index and the last non space character index what are those three and six observe observe here j plus plus right so this value will be as what six three is the this is representing first non space character this is what last non space character getting last non space character index right this one is also index first non space character index last non space character index okay now observe here just the first and second thing we have achieved. just the first and second thing we have achieved still is there okay observe now i want to store one i mean store these data into char array later what i want to do i want to make this array as data within the string object now observe here observe one small doubt i have one small thing how to create array hmm. how to create array friends how to create array Hmm. If whatever the array it is observe here char c array equals to new char array of size you have to mention right which is int observe here here ah, what is that you have to do you have to mention size observe here you are having four non-space characters so four blocks should be created here if it is observe here if there is a string object with the data as what mohan do now observe here okay mohan do okay mohan do okay think that you are having two spaces or you are having just the three spaces okay now you are having three spaces one two three one two three ah, ah, observe how many 
non space characters available here ah uh, how many non space characters available here one 7 right whereas here four if i change the data it is changing so the space also i mean here the block allocations also will be changing in the newly i want to create this array right that is i have to eliminate these three hmm these three spaces at at starting and and ending so more han do right so this one should be there no spaces right this this is our given string and i have to bring this one right now up to here how many blocks seven blocks 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so seven blocks it is changing dynamically how to specify the size here dynamically simple thing up to here how i am going to bring that value j variable value is how much 6 i variable value is what 3 6 minus 3 how much 3 observe here 6 minus 3 okay j minus i value is how much sorry j minus k its value is what 3 now put plus 1 okay put plus 1 it will give 4 4 blocks for anil I I want just four blocks. Now come here. Now come here. If you're having doubt, just go for this one. Okay. Now check this one. Think that you're having k variable value as what here? First non-space character three. J variable value. Last non-space character index. Ah, huh, what is that? Hmm. Nine. Nine minus three. Ah. Huh. J minus k is how much, friends? J minus k how much? Six put plus one. What is that? Ah, uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. We have gotten. We have gotten the trick. Okay. Now create one char array. What I'm doing? Observe. To create an array, we have to specify size here. If you don't specify size, you will get compile time error. To specify the size. I'm depending upon j minus k plus one. Why, Mister? Means simple thing. Here, if you are having non-space characters as four, no issues. I can create directly four. But one of my friend is giving string data that is char array data as what three spaces more and do. Now, what is non-spaces characters number? I mean, how many non-space characters are available? It is seven. Okay. So you have to create seven blocks. Hmm. At new care array, how to give that size? We are having difficult. I have made that one in this way. J minus k plus one. Okay. Now just take this one for any non-space characters. It will work very fine. Okay. Now observe. So now let us create one care array. Okay. Care array c equals to new. Car array of j minus k plus one. Okay, j minus k plus one. Okay, now observe here, friends. Okay, observe. A new car array has been created at memory with no data. Right? Initially, there will be no data. Still, I didn't copy this data. Okay. Still, I didn't copy. Now, observe. Simple trick. Simple trick. At zero at the index, third index character should be copied. Up is object. This is object third index character. How to put within zero at the block of newly created char array? Yes or no? Yes. Now observe. How many characters here? Four. If it is like seven, at the earlier case, I have shown that more hundred, right? Now it is what? Seven. If it is like hundred characters, you cannot predict that one. We don't know number of options in advance. So let's go for while loop once again. Okay? Iterative statement. Let me take while loop. Okay? Now take while. I have to write the condition. I'll write that one later. Now observe. What I require to do here, friends. Observe. What I require to do here. Take this 
first non space character index pass that one as an argument to caret method so that i'll get the character is r that that is iterating character by character by using index copy this character into zeroth index of this hmm char are c now observe here now i'm going to put this statement yes dot char at of with whom this three index three value is available that is with which variable it is available with k variable simple thing now just put here k okay now what it will return to us a that one copy to c of c of observe here with whom do you have value as zero at our memory do you have zero no no where i don't have i mean i don't have zero now before coming to this statement i will put one statement i equals to zero i think why i equals to zero one small trick i have said that whatever the array you create and any programming language starting block index will be always zero this is fixed nobody can change this one okay now that's why i have taken i variable value as what zero now i adding now i'm making here as what i okay now i think that i want to write one condition now what happens a has been copied to whom i variable value is what friends zero okay now c of zero for c of zero i am assigning what a up to here small a assigning to c in the same way c of zero c of zero assigning what small a yes first work has been done first thing we have achieved now this is this is iterative statement without scopes i can take single statement no issues that's why i'm not writing here scopes leave it okay now come here okay now i want to take now i want to take fourth index character value that fourth index character value i have to copy into first index character of c that is char array of c how to do that one but i have the values of k as what still it is 3 and the value of i is what 0 simple thing put here plus plus that is post increment operators at the time of accessing k value at 0 up to here s dot caret of k is what 3 okay it will return what a now here i is there right up to this part i variable value is what 0 for c of 0 i am assigning a now before coming out of this statement i variable value post increment after coming after doing all the actions before you come out of that instruction increment i variable value k variable value because of post increment operators okay now i variable value will become as what 1 now k variable value 4 s r no yes now think that it is true still i don't know what the condition to be written over there okay i will write that condition later okay even i don't know the condition to write here we will write later okay now think that it is true okay now currently k variable value at memory is what four friends okay now it will substitute here as what four yes start caret of four it will return what n okay now take n now i variable value at memory is what One C of one C of one copy what n okay now observe this fourth index character copy to first index done even this we have achieved now before coming out of this statement k variable value incrementing i variable value incrementing so k variable value will get increment to five i variable value will get increment to two. to done now now before coming out of this while loop what the jvm will do it will go here it will check 
think that it is true even we don't know the condition to right over here okay now observe now observe this part yes dot caret of k k variable value at memory 5 it will substitute 5 here yes dot caret of 5 yes dot caret caret method execution return specified index character 5 it is going to return fifth index character i so now i will be copied to c of hmm, i variable value 2 at memory put to here so c of 2 at c of i am copying what i character yes dot caret of 5 i am copying to c of 2 that's it i i am copying here friends now before coming out of this instruction k variable value will be incrementing to 6 with 5 plus 1 6 and i variable value also incrementing post increment operator behaviors okay now 2 plus 1 3 okay now observe now observe here okay now once again it is going to condition checking till it is to think that now is dot caret of uh, caret of 6 k variable value at memory is what 6 what the value it is going to return to us l small l okay now observe here it is going to return small l to us that l i'm going to copy into c of hmm, c of i variable value 3 c of 3 l i'm copying to whom c of 3 getting this yes dot caret of 6 i'm copying to c of 3 yes l i have copied here without knowing to us we have achieved our hmm, requirement now observe after coming after execution of this statement before you come to next line j variable i mean k variable value and i variable value will get increment just to focus slight trick is there okay k variable value will be decrementing to hmm, friends 7 okay abza okay 7 okay now i variable value will get increment to 4 now observe please jvm perform this accessing and copying to new index till i reach this last index character last index character one small thing with whom last index character value is available that is last non space character index with whom it is available at memory so here with whom last non space character hmm, non space character index available at our memory come here with j last non space character index with j so you perform this action whenever k value is 3 whenever k value is 4 whenever k value is 5 whenever k value is 6 ah, but don't perform if it is 7 don't perform that one simple thing put what is that k is less than equals to whom j that's it i have written the condition when k variable is 3 execute this one when it is 4 execute when it is 5 execute when it is 6 execute when it is 7 please don't execute i know that my task has been completed please don't waste any time come out of the loop we'll do some other work okay now without knowing to us i have created hmm, one care array but still we didn't achieve this fourth one i want to make this care array as data within string object how to do that one simple trick observe 